So today I finally get to do something really cool that I've been planning on doing for so long and that I've got one of my best mates, uh, Lane Cruz is here and he's done so much for me, he's done so many favours, he's a really, really good friend and finally I get to repay the favour. So I've got Damo to bring in his uh, 79 series Land Cruiser. He's pulled a few things off for me already, uh, which is awesome. And I believe this 79 series Land Cruiser would have to be probably the most powerful 79 series on the Sunshine Coast. And I'm going to run you through the specs in this amazing truck later in the video. But today we're going to be removing the old tint that's been on here since he bought it from the dealership in 2014. It's really lost its darkness. We're going to strip that off and we're going to put on an awesome ceramic film, not Nice and dark on the back to give really good privacy, um, block out the sun for the little kids in there, and, um, and darkest legal on the front. And then we're also going to be machine polishing the whole vehicle, canopy included, really clean underneath, and then we're going to be putting on uh, the, the top tier graphene coating, the Atra Pro Nano Graphene. So, going to get it inside into the coating base so we can start tinting it or stripping it off first. And uh, this thing is a weapon. Can't wait to show you. It's a little bit comfy too. He even let me drive it here this morning. <laughs> Slight speed bump. Um, just gotta make sure it actually fits in our clean room. <laughs> She's gonna be close. All right, all right. Well, I'm gonna keep it in here. Yeah, I don't So the ute's all tinted, looking absolutely unreal. Come check it out. It's really, really nice and dark. A um, lot of privacy on these back windows now. A bit darker on the front too, so it looks awesome. It's actually not really hard to see out of, so Damo is really gonna love this. And uh, a lot more privacy and a lot more heat reduction as well. So we're just gonna take it outside, check it out, and make sure it's all good to go so we can uh, get working on all the exterior. Yesterday we did the tinting, uh, it was a crazy day here in the workshop, so uh, today we're starting off with doing the super thorough wash and decontamination process. So we got it in the wash bay, uh, we're going to be really cleaning it up, getting into all the little nooks and crevices, and then we're going to be machine polishing it and coating it. So it's time to start snow foaming it and get it nice and clean. When they just do it, Snow foam has been doing its thing, time to rinse it down uh, and then we'll start degreasing up in the wheel arches and start cleaning all these areas. Alright, so now we're going to decontaminate the paintwork. So this Land Cruiser, it's got a lot of metal contamination on it. You can really feel it, just a build up of dirt and grime that's really embedded in the paint. Uh, Damo is a builder, so he's obviously always on job sites. So I wouldn't be surprised if it's just covered in everything. <laughs> There's not much you can really do about that. So we're using the Bowden's own three-way. That's going to react to all the ferrous particles. And then we're going to be using a clay towel to decontaminate it. So we're just going to let it uh, work in and work its magic so we can really prep the paintwork for the machine polishing stage. Well, 
Even though we're doing all the outside on this car, uh, I want to give uh, Damo's interior a nice clean. He, he went away for the weekend with the kids and all that, so I'm uh, just going to give it a nice vacuum, just make it look good so when he comes, picks up his truck, not only will he be wowed by the outside, but when he opens the doors on the inside, he's going to be blown away with how nice and clean and refreshed it is. So we'll start with vacuuming first. There's a stack of scratches all through here, so we're going to machine polish these and see how well they come out. Because these door handles have that really nice open edge, we can really get the machine polisher in there to uh, remove those scratches and... Wow, 98% of them all gone all through here. It might be hard for you to see on camera, but it looks way better. And it's always from just coming in, opening the door. Damien's gonna be here in about 10 to 15 minutes. He just texted me, so thought we'd pop it outside for him. And uh, so when he rocks up, he can see it from the driveway and hopefully he's wowed when he, when he catches a glimpse of it. So she's looking pretty awesome though. Really, really good. Yeah, they're looking good. Yeah, real good. Yeah, the tin really uh, made it look a lot darker. And just, yeah. just open it up so you can see what it looks like inside out. Like, it's not ridiculously dark. And uh, we took the back wheels off, coated them, like cleaned them up. Yeah, we coated all the glass too. Coated all the windscreen, coated all the side windows, wiper blade arms, like the arms. So when it rains and all that, it should really bead up and be really hard to coat it. So, Damien, let us know what you've actually done to this because by the time we upload it, we're probably going to get people asking me what's been done to it, all the stuff, and I've obviously got no idea. So if you want to run us through, obviously you've done a lot of work to it or you've had guys do a lot of work to it, like Just Autos and whatnot. So Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. give us the rundown. Um, so basically, um, like engine performance-wise, um, <clears throat> we've got a four-inch snorkel from Fats. Um, into the four-inch airbox, um, and then the G Turbo power pipe, which goes into the um, G320 G Turbo, um, and then it's got a three-inch Legend X exhaust. Mm. Um, it's had upgraded injectors. I can't remember the size, um, but basically it's making about somewhere around 280, 300 wheel horsepower right. on 35. Um, so yeah, goes pretty wow. good. It's nearly as powerful as a Mustang. <laughs> <laughs> and obviously done quite a bit on the suspension work. Yeah. Yeah, so it's, it's sitting at a three inch lift um, from Superior. And it's got the remote res adjustable shocks, which is mainly for touring and that. Yeah. Um, but having that extra capacity just allows them to go a bit longer before they overheat. 
it, it when you drive it, like when you let me drive it here, it felt like I wasn't driving a typical 79 series. Like it was just such a nice drive. Yeah, like, no, they're right. Yeah. Uh, you couldn't even, you didn't even realize you were, you were on mud terrain tires either. Or, yeah. or well, these are, More I don't aggressive know. Tires. Very, very aggressive tires. Yeah. So. yeah, no, it rides pretty good. And having the adjustable shocks is really good too. Yeah. Um, because depending on what you're driving on, you can adjust them. So you can basically, <laughs> <laughs> you can basically, um, if you hit the dirt or something, you can soften them right up and just absorb all that. That, yeah, well. um, those corrugations and that and then when you get back on the bitumen you can make them nice and firm so that when you're cornering it's not really rolling around corners. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it doesn't handle like a, a big heavy sort of a truck. Yeah. Kind of, yeah, it drives pretty good. Hey guys, well we couldn't finish the video without seeing Damo drive off in his 79 series. I actually forgot to do it so mate, thanks heaps for coming in. No worries, uh, the quick little you. flyby and uh, yeah, time to take off. Thanks good. man. Thanks guys. Catch you later. Yeah. <laughs>